Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to test this IMD Fire Pro W7000. This is going to be very interesting because it's a 2012 video card. The fact that it's got 4 gig of VRAM, GGDR5, it's going to be a very surprising performance. I'm not going to lie, you know. So I'm going to use the i9 because apparently it's working very nice with the, with the system. And uh, yeah. Let's see how this video card is working. All right, let's start with Fortnite. I think this is a great opportunity to see this video card, how it's running with performance mode. It's actually DirectX 11, but in performance mode, because we, I want to I wanna see how it's running with lowest details. Actually, high resolution, no mesh, no, no, put everything on low details. I want to see how it's running because, uh, yeah, we want to make this GPU shine. Oh, this is incredible. All right, two things I want to say is that uh, this video card is a W7000, but it sees it as a S10, not S10, S7000, you know. So yes, this is quite amazing because I'm using um, the display port and every, every FPS that I can get from this, the monitor gives me the FPS, you know, if I have 100 FPS, 170 fps 170 fps is super fresh you know so yes i do love this video card with display port it's got four display ports in the back i think you know so yeah it's quite fantastic to have this video card in the, in the pc the only problem by it's the fan It's the fan, you know, it, because it's it's small and loud. If it wasn't for that fan, I think this video card would have been the best success ever. It would have been the greatest and the best, cheapest video card that I managed to get my hands on it. That allows me to play on with DisplayPort. I'm actually happy about the performance from this video card. I got interesting lows and minimals. It's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad when it comes to uh, a 2012 video card, you know. Though it's performance mode, it doesn't matter because uh, it's quite fantastic, you know. There's no point on actually changing res resolution, more resolution, because uh, it's this is a DirectX 11 GPU. So DirectX 11, and if I had to put it on DirectX, actually there was no option for DirectX 12 because the GPU didn't recognize it. So. Yeah, I, I felt that display port. There's no point on actually playing games with this video card if we are not testing GTA 5 because now it's on DirectX 11 and we need to spin the wheel and we'll see how this video card is working. You know, GTA 5 is GTA 5. So I have DirectX 11 selected. Apparently, I theoretically should have more refresh rate, but it doesn't matter. So DirectX 11 and everything is on normal. I want to see how this video card is working. All right, this is interesting. <laughs> this is really interesting. I don't want to... I'm on the actual graph with this uh, video card, you know. So let's see. Let's see how we're doing. All right. Bananas video card. Seriously, 2012. Yes, this is a video card that came out one year before GTA 5. All right, let's go spin the wheel. Until then, we have the opportunity to pass this road, but it's very, very demanding. And I'm actually surprised he managed to hold it on over around 100 FPS. Wow, nice dodge. But to be fair, the CPU is helping, you know, 20%. So I'm actually getting so low minimals here every time I enter the casino, seriously. It's horrible. Oh yeah, chips is good. Fish and chips. <laughs> I got the chips, boy. Fantastic. Fantastic performance from this video card. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's in the spectrum with the VRAM, I think. Uh, the only thing it's uh, not very pleasant is that uh, stupid fan that doesn't manage to cool it down. You know, this and Katana and RTX 4000 Quadro, all of those slim video cards, because this is a slim video card. The only thing it's got in the, in the back is like a, a fin that makes it weird looking GPU. You know what we need to do with this 
a video card to test the new need for speed and i'm 100 sure it doesn't work because it's a 2012 video card <laughs> there's a big gap in, the, in between this video card uh, release date in this game <laughs> let's see how it's running all right so 30 fps 35 fps i just left it there so i can average it i got a minimal 28 29 28 <laughs> this is gonna be interesting you know so yeah it's very interesting how the uh, the game is utilizing the uh, the system specs you know for instance i got 13.7 uh, uh, gig of system ram use it you understand that's that's impressive you know and the cpu load is left to a 10 30 percent wonderful but the gpu it's where it's getting funny because 3.6 gig i think is similar with the 970 you know when you cannot use more than 3.7 3.5 you know that uh, you know the joke with the 970 i give it 3.5 out of 4 you know it's the same thing look at this 3.6 gig of vram you cannot use more so the gpu is fully maxed you know it's fully maxed the core is loaded the temperature is high because look at that the fan is on maximum speed the vram is fully loaded so there is nothing i can do the only thing i can show you is um, the graphics let's take a look and see how we are doing it i'm on 1080p vertical sync is off i'm sorry fsr2 percent <laughs> of performance one do you have scaling or something full scale motion blur off dynamic resolution scaling resolution scan 74 75% let's see still the same 14 gig of system RAM I can't do jack shit you know ah oh, damn it okay should have stayed on FSR ah uh, uh quality auto low let's try now still the same maybe we can put it on the lowest resolution vsync off okay Ooh, this is gonna be funky uh, 35 fps 3.6 gig of system ram I can keep that one I just want to see the settings and I'll see how, how it's running so 66 degree 3.5 it lost 1.1 on the VRAM yeah but the GPU is still fully loaded the CPU is there frame time is okay you know I'm just I'm just not getting it. the the 1% is 33 FPS now and 1% is 32 so I got the some increase in the uh, in the performance but uh, it's kind of dodgy you know so it's kind of weird to see this uh, this video card running this game you know but i wouldn't suggest nothing because uh, the frame time is not very adequate you know so i'm not gonna play any races you because it's very hard well it jumps to 30 to 50 very volatile and there's a lot of spikes there damn i mean maybe an older need for speed you know because this video card cannot keep up with with something like this come on Bang. yes i cannot i i cannot recommend this uh, this game with this video card because it's 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 not meant for this <laughs> but i'm just surprised that he managed to start the game and he gave me 30 fps that's it all right let's try uh, modern warfare you know and see how it runs with w7000 because this is a, a very dodgy video card seriously i mean in a good way because uh, it's very old but it performs really well what the heck what i'm going to use is uh, minimal but instead of minimal i'm gonna put it out to maybe 69 i'm gonna get our lucky number in and we're gonna see how it's running so 50 60 fps nice this is actually cool <gasps> playable easy damn a bit harsh man Paddy 
manage to see him there. Come on. We're doing really fantastic with the with the video card, even though it's on uh, maximum performance. You know, I think. Uh, uh, I need to look into FSR or DL FSR. I think FSR because it's an AMD video card and it got no DLSS, you know. Kind of old for 2012 to have DLSS or... But I think FSR would be ideal to, to try on the video card. Oh, Mata! Okay, so graphics, nothing. Quality, let's try it on 37 render scale. Disgusting. Have 60 FPS. Becomes very... Very responsive. I don't think there is something wrong with this. V sync on. Fun. Of course, I, I, got, I, I, I cannot win nothing. Okay, 37% render scale with V sync off. Damn. Not my glorious day. Shotgun. There's nothing I can do to have competitive FPS with this. But it runs, you know, it runs. You can actually adjust so many things in, inside. I think with FSR it will be different. Right, there's no point on actually doing a benchmark if you don't put uh, Cyberpunk on, on this video card because, uh, yeah, Cyberpunk used to be cyber bug now it's cyberpunk you know so let's see how he's running okay so feels very 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 choppy you know we want to test let's see the settings and we want to see the performance how we are doing so we're in 1080p i'm going to give it full screen full priority on this and uh we're going to see how we are doing with first off with low details yes so i'm going to keep it like this and put it on low details 21 FPS, this is not okay, because the CPU is not loaded, the system RAM is reaching 10 gig, that is doing something, you know, the GPU core is maxed out, but the VRAM not, it's a big nut, <laughs> a VRAM is not, is not, yeah, all right, so what's bottlenecking? The core. So the core is not doing the job. I'm guessing we have to distress it with some um, uh, render scale, you know. Because of that, the GPU is not even hot, you know. Even though uh, it, the, the the fan is on maximum speed, shouldn't be there. It should be. Actually, I think the video card runs hotter, you know, than 60 degrees, like 80 degrees. It, it feels okay on 80 degrees, you know, this type of video card, because it's a one unit video card, one unit. It's very slim video card, you know, so, yeah, I think this is uh, one of those video cards that allow us to run just a bit hotter. All right, so we got 10 gig of system RAM, you know, uh, the frame time is not helping us, you know because of the the gpu you know look at the frame time 40. jesus is nearly the red, near the line the white line all right let's okay no more pissing off on this one because it doesn't do the job so we're gonna put it on custom custom that means we're gonna disable more stuff here contact shadows uh take this crap off medium medium that was a preset you know so we're gonna try to disable as much crap as possible off yeah wanna apply see how it doing 28 can see the re the real fps you know the difference the only thing i can see is with the frame time you know because the fps looks the same <laughs> but if the frame time is lower that means it's doing something you know 65 degrees still 40 percent uh, 40 uh, frame time horrible okay so in order to see this, if it's do actually doing the job, we're going to put it on 1024. 1024. Frame time, 28. Yes, so the resolution. All right. 
So if we hide this, we'll put the, a smaller one like this. Let's, let's play it out. Ooh, it feels very snappy. Oh my god, I can actually play Cyberpunk with this. Without any render scale. I get 20, 30 frame time. This is the dream come true with this video card, seriously. 4 gig of VRAM, it's actually enough for this. Okay, Cyberpunk, you, you made yourself clear that it's possible to play this game with this video card because if I activate now FSR and I put Fidelity FX Ultra Performance on the lowest resolution with lowest quality, I think he's reaching under 20. Look at that, 17 frame time. Bananas frames. It didn't do much on frames on FPS, but it did on frame time. And it, it feels very, it feels very fluent, you know? And if you're playing a little more, you'll see the minimal and 1% increase, you know? Now it's only 11 and we want to see 30. See, 30 minimal. Oh, this is actually fun. I'm not joking. I really love all video cards like this when it comes to benchmarking to see them shine. Quiet. <laughs> it's very quiet. You know, this is so funny. But um, uh, as much as I would like to uh, this this video card, I cannot because it's 2012. Theoretically, this should, should be the biggest disadvantage for this video card, but it's not. It's got 1,200 shaders, 4 gig of VRAM, 256 bits, you know, on bus width. That's fantastic. 950 on the core and 1.2 gig on the memory. This is an awesome video card. You can find it really cheap. What's wrong with this? Nothing. This is just slim and loud. <laughs> But that's it. You you can work around, you know, because you can put the power. Actually, you cannot put that. Yeah, you have to work out with this fan, and that's it. Find the right temperature for it, and whatever. If you lock it on 60 FPS, put low details. I think you can get away with this video card on actually running cool. But aside from that, I think this video card is worth every pound, every dollar, every penny. It doesn't matter. It's a fantastic video card. So yeah.